guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are your January 2016 readings. I'm going to be pulling a color card for every sign. I think what deck I use is going to vary, so I will just present that in the beginning of each sign. But of course, the color card is coming from the Inna Seagal deck, the Secret Language of Color Oracle deck. And first of all, I want to say Happy New Year. Oh, here's hoping that 2016 is a great, great year for everybody. And if you would like a personal reading from me, please go to my website at angelsouls 444 com and if you would like to support me on patreon i will leave that information down below so let's get to it hi there virgo let's see what's going on for you for january 2016 i'm going to be using the angel therapy oracle deck by doreen virtue for your reading so let's get into it oops i had a card <laughs> that i forgot to put back into the deck sorry about that oh uh, okay here we go release flopped right out. I don't know if you got to see that. I think finally you're in the shot now or the cards are in the shot now. <laughs> you get to see what I'm doing here. All right. So there's that one. Goddess, getting back into your power, your integrity, and leaning on your power animal. Okay. So this, we're talking about rest and rejuvenation. That's a big theme because a lot of us get taxed out by the end of the year. Um, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I had a very trying 2015 and I'm kind of scared of 2016. I'm just kidding. I'm not scared of 2016, but I'm just like, whoa, you know, January is going to be a good time for me because I'm going to sit back with my tea and I'm just going to kick my feet up and watch some TV and I'm just going to like love it up while also doing my clearing and cleansing. <laughs> <laughs> which is what I encourage you to do as well. Because the first card you have up here is release. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. And fi again, finding peace. So whatever kinds of things have come up for you, whatever you've been contending with and having to deal with, um, it's time now to let all that go and open yourself up for a new way of being and getting on that new path. I'm sorry, my face, as some of you know, <laughs> this happens, it happens. Sometimes when I'm reading, I'll either run out of breath or my face gets tingly, especially around, it's like someone's like tickling my nose. So I'll constantly like, my eyes and all that stuff. And um, it's spirit, it's spirit kind of, right here in my face okay so sorry about it i don't mean to be touching my face all over the place but now you know what's happening there it is all right so time to release relax let go of what no longer serves you guys you know you're supposed to do this it's probably supposed to do this a long time ago but this is a good month to do it because we do have mercury retrograde i think check with your local astrologer um i am not an astrologer but i think that's going on so it's a good time to just I don't know too. What is that feeling? Can you guys put it into words for me? Review, review what? I've got Jeremiah in here. So there's some review. You're kind of reviewing the whole past year and your reaction to things in certain situations. And maybe what you, you're kind of recapping what you've learned. Okay, it's that kind of energy. All right, so now you're tapping into the goddess energy. Even if you're a man, you can tap into your divine feminine aspects. It says, express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. Ain't nothing wrong with connecting back in, okay? But you can't do that until you release the old junk. So you're kind of getting purified in a way and getting balanced. And for some of you, this goddess energy has gone out of whack. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's terrible to say that. You out of whack. Uh, now I don't mean it like that. But like, you know, the goddess energy, it's supposed to be a, a source of power. It's not supposed to be something that you overuse or to inspire aggression or, you know, whatever. Um, learn how to balance this. This also feels like hormonal balances as well. Okay, for some of you. So we'll see what that might be. You know, it's always good to anytime, no matter who you are, to tap back into that nurturing quality. And if you need some help with the nurturing part of it, Archangel Gabriel is a beautiful angel to be working with. Gabriel's energy is everywhere, especially around if you are a Christian, you celebrate Christmas. Even if you don't, even if you're not a Christian, Gabriel's there for you, okay? I mean, Gabriel is a huge presence because so many people are thinking of him slash her uh, around this time of year coming into January. So hop on that train, hop on the Gabriel train. 
Why not, right? All right, so the next card we have here is integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness with, excuse me, of what's right for you. So awaken the integrity in you. You don't have to keep putting up with the things that you've been putting up with. Does that mean getting defensive with somebody? No, it, it means more about loving yourself. So here's an example. If somebody asks you to do something, they're constantly asking you to do something, and you constantly keep giving in, you don't have much of a right to then go off on them and be like, you're always doing this. You did it. They didn't do nothing. They just asked you and you said yes. <laughs> so part of stepping into your integrity is setting boundaries and saying, you know, maybe I would love to help you with that, but, um, or, you know, maybe you say, I would love to help you with that, but I just can't. I don't have the energy. I need to rejuvenate a little bit but good luck with that, okay? Integrity for some of you also is getting out of a bad relationship or like I've had to recently do, finally letting go of somebody from your past who just is not honoring you, who's not even respecting you as a human being, all right? Integrity people, wake it up because <laughs> you don't need to put up with that, all right? You are a beautiful divine being and don't have any room for that in your life. Clear it away. So the last card we have before we go on to the color card is Power Animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with the situation. So the Power Animal, you know, this gets into shamanism, but this is also Archangel Ariel kind of um, energy. One angel medium says it's Archangel Thuriel, I think, is for um, animals. So yes, the animals have messages for you as well, but they can also help you be very grounded. As a lot of you know, I've become recently obsessed with my local zoo. <laughs> and I'll probably go there today because I just love these animals so much. And trust me, they're treated like rock stars there. And a lot of them are rescues. So if anybody has any agenda around how evil zoos are, excuse me, yeah, I know what I'm doing, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't support a place like that. But anyway, animals can make you feel very, very grounded, okay? So um, work with that energy as well. Maybe you want to go explore uh, the zoo or whatever as a breaking point. Because some people are like, power animal, I'm not into that. All right, fine. If you're not, if you don't want to tap into the the messages of your totem animal or whatever, you can just use it as a grounding message. Okay, so the color card is, big reveal, pink. Oh my gosh, let love in. Four, which is, as we know, an angel number. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, that makes me want some spring. Let love in. So let new love in. Again, you know, I use that example of having maybe to let go of somebody from, like I had to let go of someone from my past, and hopefully by doing so, that's letting some love in. You can do the same thing. Maybe it's letting go of someone from your past. Maybe it's letting go of anger around a situation and you're choosing to follow the love instead of keep going with your point and trying to win something. Do you understand what I'm saying? So <laughs> take that beautiful color in, guys. And it does kind of have, I know we kind of feminize the color pink, but, you know, I mean, it kind of does go with that feminine energy. And it's really asking you to, you know, let love in from other people, but also to love yourself. Pink is very much a color of self-love. Pink calcite would be great for you guys to work with. And of course, if you are going to work with crystals, you want to make sure that they are cleansed, cleared, and charged. I keep pink calcite in a little pouch that I carry with me. And um, do I have it here? Oh, I do. Hey, I'm going to break my little crystal grid that I have over here. Here's some pink calcite. So, you know, tap into the energy of that and uh, remember the self-love. All right, guys. I am sending you love and have a great month. Take care.